welcome back to Ark's Fatalis. Okay, I did a little bit of looking online and I think I figured out how to find the treasure. So I was very, very suspicious about this area here and I was thinking this is probably where the treasure is, right? Because it is in the extreme southeast, as the note says. And, you know, there's this little hole here and it looks like there's nothing in it. It's very suspicious. Now, I tried a bunch of stuff, like I tried casting Reveal here, which doesn't really make any sense, because that's not what the instructions say. And I tried moving this all around, waiting for this, you know, hot spot to pop up for the shovel. And it never did. However, I think I know what to do. I think... Uh, that sounds like it did something, it, it didn't actually do anything. I think you need to use the shovel. So just like you use a book to read it. You can also use a pickaxe. It makes a noise, even though it doesn't actually do anything. But I think I need to use the shovel when I'm in the area. So let's try using it. Instead of, instead of doing this, which is using the item on an object, you need to use the item on the... It, itself. Yeah. Arx Fatalis. I would like to say something to you. I love you. But what the fuck is wrong with you? Holy shit. Alright, well, here's the key. It's not the treasure, it's the key to the treasure, which I believe would be back where I first started the treasure hunt. Actually, it's probably the other locked chest. But yeah, um, just to talk about this for a second, this makes no fucking sense! Holy shit, what the hell is wrong with this game? My god! Okay, have I gotten it out of my system? No, not really. Let's keep going. So... The way that I've used tools for the entire game, 20 hours or so, so far. The way I have used every single tool... ...is to double-click it, and then use it on the thing I want to use it on, right? I double-click the pickaxe, and then I use it on, uh a diamond, or whatever's in the wall, and then it, it works. I have never used an item on its own. That doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't even make any sense. What am I even using the item on? I'm just using the item. On, on what? I'm just using it. Like, what the fuck's the difference between using an item on something in the world which actually makes sense, versus just using it in your inventory. Like, why should there even be two different things there? My god! So to end this treasure hunt, <laughs> or at least the, almost at the end of the treasure hunt, they expect you to use a functionality of your tool that you have never needed to use before and makes no sense at all. Holy shit! I'm gonna say that I bet almost nobody has ever solved this treasure hunt without using a walkthrough. I would put money on the line for that. I bet almost nobody has ever solved it without using a walkthrough. And if somebody has, then dear god, man, I feel bad for them. I feel really, really bad for them. This treasure hunt has been one of the most... one of the coolest quests I've ever played in a game. But at the same time, it's also been one of the stupidest. It's so weird. It just keeps rebounding back and forth from like, oh my god, this is incredibly cool, to oh my god, this is incredibly stupid and this makes no sense. It's so strange. Like the way the note, I mean, the notes aren't even ordered correctly. There's two, there's two clue numbers four, two clue number fours. Here's the fourth clue, and then clue number four, which is actually the fifth clue. Who, I... Really, really strange. It's like it's like this quest was designed by ten different people. And none of them had any idea what the other person's intentions were at all. Okay, well, let's go see what our treasure is. Yeah, sorry for the uh, annoying night vision thing, but I ran out of torches. 
Okay, um, where did I find it? Where was Oliver's place? Four? Um... It shouldn't be too hard to find, and it's like right after you spawn in. It's the place that has the gold, the trail of gold, left by the goblins. Underground lake. Mm, let's try that. I don't think it's the underground lake. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, this is the one. Oh shit, they're gonna, gonna try to kill me. Oh hey, dude. How's it going? Nah, just a rat. Nothing else. Yeah, just a rat. You not move. Human. No, I'm not dead meat. You want to see dead meat? Me fancy Here's some dwarf flesh. That's dead meat. Hmm? You gonna regret this. Wait a minute. You, you can't even get out of there, can you? Meat, human. <laughs> Me teach you what fighting about. He's trapped. All right, you can stay there. Here, I'll even give you a weapon. Well, never mind. Alright. Where was this place? This way? I think it's... Yeah, I think it's this way. Here it is! Yeah, that's... The hell is the noise? Oh. Yep, that was the chest I opened. This is the one that is still locked, right? Locked. Yep. Oh my god. It's been like 20 hours ever since I started this game. I've been on this treasure hunt, and I believe this is the end. I have no idea what the hell's inside. I've never seen anybody mention the reward. I solved the treasure hunt organized by Oliver. What do you think's inside? Let's ponder that for a moment. I feel like it might be a gag gift. Rather than something actually powerful. Let's see. Gonna open it on one. Three, two, one. Okay, it's a ring. What kind of ring? Ring of Heroes. One to strength, one to dexterity, one to constitution, and one to intelligence. Okay, that's a pretty damn good ring. Is it so cool that it makes the entire treasure hunt worth it? Not really. I actually don't know if I want to give up one of my casting rings. It's going to take my casting from 99 down to 93. Eh, it's not bad, actually. Let's see. What the hell? My rings just keep switching left and right. Ten more health. That's pretty good. One more attack. Okay. Mana goes up by quite a bit because of the intelligence increase. Ooh, and you know what? The intelligence increase actually gets me back up to... It gives me a little bit more casting ability. Not that much, though. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know if it's worth it. Well, I'm going to wear it just to make myself feel like it was actually worth it to solve the quest, even though it may not have been, in terms of in terms of reward. It was definitely worth it in terms of just adventure, because that was a really cool quest. Despite being also incredibly, mind-numbingly stupid at times, it was also very cool. 
I think one of the coolest things about it is just that it made me... It, it added an extra bit of... An extra bit of fun to exploring the environment. Because it's almost like every environment I explore, there was a, a purpose to it. Right? Aside from just trying to find something cool to look at, and just wanting to explore around, there's also an additional thing. It's kind of like, oh, you know, if I keep exploring, I'm gonna find some other part of the treasure hunt. Just added a little bit more purpose to my... Explorations. Which is pretty damn cool. Alright, what the hell is I doing? Oh yeah, the weapon. Right, I still don't know if I've done that or if I need to do an additional step. Let me go try taking this back to the king and see if he says something like, Oh, good job, dude, go this place, stab man, goodbye. Or something. Because it seems like, if in doubt, you should go back to the king. Oh, nowhere. Good. You die, bastard. You is come here. Good day to you, Guardian. Mm -hmm. Must have been that. Shigar, it is time to hunt down Akbar and destroy him. Not now. And for all. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. No. Okay. May the wisdom of the Noden guide you, Amshagar. Nobody wants my sword. Okay, I'm obviously missing something. What about the Adernium? See if she can reveal anything. Wisdom gazes nope. down upon you from these shelves. Alrighty, well, I guess I'm gonna have another read of the book, so I'll be right back. Okay, well, I did some looking online, and it seems what you are supposed to do is indeed an enchantment. That is the final step. You need to make the blade, which I've already done, and you need to enchant it with a dragon's egg. Which was one of the things listed here. The very last one, yeah, dragon's egg. Dragon's egg allows the weapon to damage the element it is made of. For example, an enchanted iron weapon will do more damage to iron objects. So it's already been fused with the cultic powder, so I guess if you use the dragon's egg, it means it will be extremely dangerous to other cultic things or something. That's what I kind of suspected, but uh, um, that would have been a lot more clear if the Sisters of Adernium weren't dead, because apparently if you talk to one of them, they're the ones that tell you you actually need to use a dragon's egg. So, yeah. If I was actually able to converse with them, they would have been able to tell me that. Now you might ask, where do you find a dragon? Well, yeah, that's another thing where I just have would have had no freaking clue, but uh, apparently it's on level 2. I believe, from what I read online. It must be somewhere up here on the left, the top left. I I don't remember what the hell's here. I mean, surely I explored this area. Although it kind of looks unexplored, but... Well, no, that's just where the troll is, isn't it? On level two? I don't know. Anyway, apparently there's a dragon somewhere. But, um, and try, instead of trying to hunted down specifically, I realized why don't I just keep exploring? Because there's still some areas I have just not explored. And at level 8, it would be one of them. Ow. So I've done all of this stuff, but I haven't gone down. So let's go see what's here. And the other major area that I want to explore is where the Ilsids are. If you remember, a very long time ago I visited their home place killed a couple of them and then ran away because they kept kicking my ass. Yeah, I want to pay them a visit. Oh, 
shit, what's the last one? For the trap thing. Uh... Eh? No. I, I don't remember what it is. Crap. What's the last part? What's the last part? There we go. It's Kazoo. Uh, wait, you don't look like an enemy. Are you? Are you friendly? Hello? I'm clicking on him, but I can't talk to him. What the hell? Um... Are, are you actually a rat dude? For the love of God. Thank you. Okay, have a nice day. Alright, <laughs> so it seems like there actually is nothing down here. The map deceived me. Because it does look like there's a pathway. In fact, there, there... Yeah. There is actually a pathway on the map here. And the fact that this Ratman is standing right here makes me think that at some point you can, like, find a way through. Hmm, probably quest-related. Anyway, alright. Well, in that case, let's go visit the Ilsids, if I can remember where they were. I remember they're on a pretty high level. Which one? I remember how to use the unblock thing. There's a blockage in one of the tunnels. Ooh. Ooh, it's here. Yeah, it was right here. Alright, level four. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can catch me again, which you can catch me because I'm fucking stuck. Stay here. Never mind. I'm good. Fight. Okay. There you go. And that is actually a rune, isn't it? I guess not. Huh. Maybe I just don't have it. It's time for a little bit of revenge. I wonder if I could fight them with a sword, now that I have such good armor. Okay, remember I went into here and I stole some stuff. Oh yeah, and down here's the forge, right? Down there. Wait a minute. I left this stuff here? Ooh, candles! I can't use them as torches, but... I can still drag them around and use them as shitty lights. Sounds like there's somebody down here. Intruder! We have an intruder! Ugh. Oh 
Oh my god, this sword's so good. Ooh. Oh my god, so many keys. I wonder how much this stuff sells for. Not that I need a single additional dollar given that I have 34,000. But, uh... Wow, so I could have been wearing this a long time ago if you came down here and stole this, I guess. Holy shit. I'll take him. Backups. big this place is. Footsteps. <gasps> Alright, he's not oh! he's not doing a huge amount of damage, but he's doing a lot. Oh! Okay, yep. Yep, yep, yep. They still do a lot of damage. It's like I didn't even use any mana at all. Holy crap. Yeah, there's something in there. Oh, there's, there's something... Weird in there. Oh shit. Yeah, look at that. I, I just killed two of them. Look at how much mana I used like 10%. supposed to go and oh looks like some sort of a puzzle and this whole ground floor is the same thing as their symbol up here I'm guessing if I complete this this will unlock the door Find out the source of these weird noises. What the fuck? I don't know if I want to open that door. Let's try this one first. Please have torches. It's the only thing I want in life, torches. I don't even care about bottles anymore, who cares? Eat that, eat that, eat it all. Anybody sleeping? Oh my god, that's the cutest little anvil! Look at that thing! It's like a baby anvil, it's a pocket anvil. For all of your mobile anviling needs.
What are those, piss buckets? <laughs> I think it's a troll. At least one of the things a troll, because it keeps making the same noise as the trolls, but much higher pitched. Instead of yum yum, yum yum yum, it's going yum yum, yum yum yum. I, I kind of just want to keep making that noise. Alright, my skill's so good, I don't think I need to use Bless. I'm probably gonna break my tools. Not really a very successful attempt. Wait, did that actually use a mom? I, I thought I used a 1 out of 5 durability, which means it should have broken. Okay, that was 2 out of 5. Hmm. I think I've damaged my tools. Yeah, okay, it is actually damaging the tools. In that case, blessed to the rescue. There you go. Wait. There you go. Okay, I unlocked it first. Now I detrapped it. Well, compared to the Ilsid armor that you can get, this is like complete garbage, but if you didn't have the Ilsid armor, this would be amazing. It's a full suit of armor there. With multiple helmets. I believe that's the same helmet I have, right? Yep. Although the durability is one higher. Go ahead and take it. Five light potions, cool. I'm not even gonna take the rest of that stuff. Okay, let's see what's in here, shall we? Alright, unlocked it. <laughs> Hi! That's obviously a trap. Is it? Oh, hold, hold on. Never mind, I was gonna say, hold on, I need to detrap this, but I apparently triggered the trap by going further away. So anyway, uh, I'm still trying to process what I'm seeing here. Let me just get closer and, um, yeah, um, yeah, this is what I think it is. <laughs> this is amazing. They're so cute. So they just make the same noises, but higher pitched. Oh, I can open this, can't I? Oh no, I don't want them yum, to kill yum. each other. Yum, yum, yum. Listen to him, he's so harmless. Yum, 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 yum. No, I'm not gonna do it. Can I, like, break the glass? I, I don't want to kill them. Oh no! <gasps> oh... Okay, I want to let them out and see what happens, but I don't want to kill them. There we go. Yeah. Hi. Okay, they're very docile. They've gotten so used to their habitat, they don't even want to leave. Uh, I'm guessing it's just a uh, script that probably triggers if I open this thing in the center. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. Hi. I'll just leave them to it for now. Is Serbius' personal diary? <laughs> Let's see what kinky shit he gets up to. Locked. Mm. <laughs> this is great. Alright, well... I'll end on a cliffhanger. I'm gonna see how these two interact and read Aserbius' personal journal and see what's inside of this chest. 
in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.